Greetings, Traveler, and welcome back to the Lapis Kingdom. I am the Blue Regent, and today our goal is to explore the abandoned mine shaft that we found while doing our branch mining. Before I do that, I want to get all of our armor enchanted, so that means that we're going to have to find a few diamonds first so that we can get our enchanting table going. So if you're ready, saddle up, and let's begin. As usual, before we head deep into the mines, I'm going to want to gather some arrows from our skeleton farm. Ooh. Power two. Power two. I think putting these two together will increase the power of this bow. We'll find out. I have more than two and a half stacks of arrows, and that should be enough. And before we leave here, I, ooh, I want to figure out where these zombies are. It sounds like maybe right here. We're definitely close. Ah. This creeper's trying to bring me down. Ha. That might be everybody. Okay. Well, now that that's cleared out, hopefully this cave will stop affecting the spawn rate of my skeleton farm. Okay, let's head down to the shaft mines. One thing I'm definitely looking forward to is getting a much more efficient and faster way of getting all the way down here. Ooh, diamonds. All right. Oops. Are there any underneath you? Oh, yeah. Okay. How many do we get? Eight. Great. Perfect. That's more than we need to build what we're going to build. So with eight, we can build our enchanting table, get a diamond axe, and get a diamond shovel. I'm excited about that. Actually, I think we can get a diamond hoe, too. I think we can get a full diamond everything. Let's head into the ravine real quick to grab a little extra obsidian, just in case we need it. Eight obsidian is more than enough. Heading back up top is always a little nerve-wracking for me, because I'm always worried about the 500,000 creepers that are lurking around. So let's take a wide approach. Looks like we are good. Let's make a whole bunch of paper. We'll get a bunch of books going. Let's get all of our lapis. And here it goes. Enchanting table. We've got it. Let's throw it down. Oh yeah. I feel good about this. Punch. Do I want punch? You know what? Let's just see what comes with it. Punch one. Okay. Well, that's neat. Respiration. I do want that. I want that for my helmet. You know what? I think I do want fire aspect. Let's get it. 
Let's get power three. I don't have enough levels. Well, that's okay. Let's do some level grinding. First, let's combine these bows. Power three, that's cool. That would give us punch two, but we don't have enough levels. Let's definitely put... Ooh. Well, our sword has fire aspect on it, and also it's... We broke our anvil, but that's okay. New anvil. Let's see, I want... Respiration. Three. So that's a bonus. The rest of this stuff can just go in these chests right here. Back at the skeleton farm. Grinding for some levels. Another way that we can get experience pretty quickly is go through and gather all of this coal and redstone around that we've been ignoring. Oh! Secret diamonds! Who would have figured that in our quest to mine for levels, we would have found diamonds? I'm pretty excited about that. Three diamonds out of two blocks, that's pretty cool. So we're up to level 23 levels, which is a decent start. So let's see what we can accomplish back at the enchanting table. I could get protection three for my chest plate. I want that. So after a little inventory management, we're back to killing skeletons. And this creeper thought it should hang out in here. Poor decision on your part. Oh. Now will that add power? I don't know. That's going to be something I'm going to experiment with. But maybe not today just because of the whole levels issue. I'm going to take these gold leggings. All this time, I've been mining and using the skeleton spawner as ways to get experience, and I totally have been ignoring another super easy way to get experience in this game. Hello, yes, everyone, thank you. Yes, thank you. I appreciate it. You're wonderful. And while we're here, we'll feed these cows too. Yes, hello everyone. Enjoy your food. Thank you for the wonderful experience. You are all doing your part to aid the kingdom. Hello pigs. It's been a while since I've fed any of you carrots, so have some carrots. Yeah, have some carrots everybody. Have some carrots and kiss your friends. It's not a lot of experience, but it is experience. And in a situation like this, everything helps. I also have some gold enchanted I also have some gold enchanted items that I'm never going to use. And I know there's kind of like a debate in the community on whether or not you keep these items enchanted or not, but I'm not going to use them. And I would like the experience, and so I'm just going to Disenchant all these. All right, diamond chest plate. Protection three. Let's do it. Ooh, and unbreaking three. Oh, that's so good. Leggings, what can we get you? Unbreaking three. But I need one level. 
I can get that level. If this episode doesn't end up with a weird supercut of me just killing tons and tons of skeletons, I'll be... I'll be impressed and confused because I've killed a lot of skeletons today. Okay, here we go. Three. On breaking three. Protection three. That is huge. So both of these have <clears throat> both of these have protection three and unbreaking three. I wanna get mending for all four of these, and I wanna get mending for my sword. That's probably gonna happen later, but I feel a lot stronger now knowing that I have protection three on my two biggest pieces of armor. All right, bow experiment time. It does not do anything positive other than fix this. That's fine. <clears throat> That's fine. I don't, uh, I'm not in desperate need to beef up my bow any more than it already is. So we have a lot of torches. We have a lot of food. Our armor is a lot stronger than it was. Let's go check out these abandoned mines. Let's see if I can even remember how to get up to them in the first place. There they are. Okay. That's a very open <laughs> upper area. Okay. Well, here we go. Oh, why? Why do you have to be right there? No one's looking at you. How big is this space I'm in? You know what? Oh, hello. You can't. I'm going to do this. Let those two fight, and I want you gone. Oh, man, that's horrible. You know, they're, they're bad enough, but when they're on fire and they're screaming at you... Oh, no. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Bye. There's another one. This is, this is scary because everything can drop down on me because the actual mine is up. So I'm going to head, I want these Endermen gone. I, I just want them gone. Okay, so stuff back there can't get to me. That's cool. That's good to know. So I'm going to head up. And kind of cut down on places things can come at me from. So stuff can't sneak up on me. That's neat. Now, a thing that is true is I always get stuck. Or I always get lost in these. And so to help myself, I'm going to keep my torches only on the right. And see if that has any impact. This sort of ends here. Uh, I'm just going to light this whole area up. No one's allowed to sneak up on me, everyone. Oh, and because of the water flow, you can't get over here. Oh, that creeper almost... was able to be sneaky.
Okay, well, no one's coming at me from this direction. That's neat. Okay, so now that... Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? <laughs> Ooh, that was scary. Look at this. Look at this jerk right here. You better get out of here. Exactly. Now, part of my hopes while we're down here is that we will find a cave spider spawner. Because then, we can essentially get a string farm going. Oh boy, now I'm on fire. <laughs> that backfired. Pun intended. Zombie villager. Oh, I wish I could save you. Also, I don't like when my back is turned too. Okay, alright. Let's back up a little bit. Oh, I wish I could save you. I really do. But I don't have the time or the resources right now. So people are coming from up there. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, that is a hallway. And so is that. Okay. Well, here we go. This is stressful. To me, like the nether is the nether is stressful for sure. But mine shafts, I think, are, are some of the most stressful things in the game. So far, no cave spider spawners. Which is a little disappointing. However, there are a lot of mine tracks, or minecart tracks down here. And that's good because I'm going to need them. And the less resources I have to use... Oh, okay. That's a way up. All right. Well, that's a weird generation, but one less place for stuff to sneak up on me from. So that's good. Always keeping my torches on the right hand side. Let's uh, get rid of you first. Okay, big open area that I don't really feel like dealing with right now, but apparently, oh, he can't get to me. Or he, can he? And he's just not smart enough. I keep finding a lot of emeralds, which is crazy because I thought they were pretty rare. Okay, well, that just doubled back to a place I've already been. Okay, it looks like the next direction to go is this way. And this is kind of precarious. There's some weird stuff going on here. Okay, well this links up with a place I've been before. Should definitely eat. Ah, this is where everybody was falling down from. Okay, look at that. That's eerie, staring me down. Oh, I feel like I'm giving the game a lot of places for stuff to sneak up on me. Okay, now I'm hearing a lot of spider noises. I'm thinking maybe we found, maybe we found the spawner. Oh, well, well, Tag team duo action going on here. And a creeper. <laughs> Everybody's coming. It's a party. And everyone was invited, I guess. Well, I don't know. Lots of torches. Light up the end of the hallway. There's nothing quite like a beefed up bow in this game. <clears throat> okay, so 
Is there anything good in here? Take that torch. Um, yeah, I'll take this and these. That other stuff I'll come back for. I'm hearing a lot of spiders, a lot of spider noises. So I have to, I have to be close. More emeralds. Okay. This is this is this is unnerving. And I feel like possibly somewhere in here is where the spiders are. It's just horribly unnerving all of the time. You can hear them, you can hear everybody. You have no idea where they are. And even in pretty good armor, I'm nervous. I'm, I'm terribly nervous. More torches, which I definitely needed. Take this redstone. Take that powered rail. Take Definitely take that diamond. Oh. Okay, well that's stressful. I wonder if everything's up. It seems like it might be. Okay. Here I go. Oh, this is... I don't like this. Oh my goodness. I'm not even that fragile. It just stresses me out. What I definitely should have done is brought some milk with me. In case I get poisoned. That's that's a mistake I made. Oh, there's some something spawner, some kind of spawner. It is a zombie spawner. Well, what do you know? Just eight million zombie spawners in this seed. Protection three, that's cool. Take these bones, this music disc, saddle. Uh, I don't really need any of that. Definitely the gunpowder. Luck of the sea. That'll be great on my fishing pole. Zombies, have a great day. Oh, well, you can get right out of here. Oh, okay, bye. Where did you go, baby zombie? Did did you did you leave because I told you to? I am so confused. Okay. Well, neat, I guess. Oh! <laughs> oh, that scared me. That legitimately scared me. Holy cow! Oh, I jumped. That made me, I jumped. I, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna sit right here for a second and and collect. That made me jump. I literally jumped. This game is just determined to make me as uncomfortable as possible right now. So I fought and killed a lot of skeletons, fought and killed a lot of zombies. Definitely some some regular spiders, but not much in the way of cave spiders. Which is a little disappointing. So a thing that I want to look into. Where I was when I heard all the spiders, there was water dripping. Here is a waterfall. I feel like we are nearing Spider-topia and I don't like it Not at all But I feel like we're getting close and now that we're up here I'm still not sure where all those spiders are coming from 
Is it across here? No, we've been up here. Okay. I have no idea where all those spider noises are coming from. Oh, every time I start a new... Aha! All right, we have to be on our guard. Because here it is. Oh, I hate these things. I hate cave spiders. I hate them a whole bunch. They're super fast. They poison you. And they're smaller than regular spiders so that they can get places that regular spiders can't, I think. Or at least that's how it feels. Is it too... Oh, please be too bright in here now. Please be too bright in here now. Now, normally I would use shears to collect all of this, all this webbing, but I didn't bring any, and I need the string anyways, so... I'm accepting this for now. Okay, I don't think you can spawn anymore. And I don't want you to. Because I don't feel like fighting cave spiders right now. I'm going to light that up. And that's something that I'm going to have to explore later. But this is what I was looking for. This is what I was hoping to find today. Was this. Which means now we can start a string farm... Which means that we can definitely get scaffolding going. Oh, I'm excited about this. That was stressful. It was stressful getting to this. It really was. But we've gotten here. We found it. We've found all sorts of other cool resources. I just kind of want to finish this stretch out. And there's the lava we've been hearing. Okay. Oh, this is like the other side of that. Well, I don't want anything coming in through that. Um, I'll definitely take these rails. I'll take the gold. Why not? I'll take the coal. I'm leaving the name tags for now. I know that they're important. I'll come back for them because I want to come back for all of these cobwebs. There's a ton of resources I want to come back here for. And we're going to have to build our spider farm here. So... I'm super excited about this. That was my main reason for coming down here. And now it's time to figure out how to get out of here. There is still something, a space, in here somewhere where there are a lot of spiders. And I don't know where it is. Okay, those torches are on my right, which means I'm going the wrong direction. Finding that cave spider spawner is huge. And... I'm glad we found that. I'm glad we found all of these other cool resources we have now. So is there more mine to explore? Yes. But we have found everything that I was hoping to find today. Okay, I know I'm close to the beginning. Nope, those are all on the right. Not the direction I want to go. I know I'm close to the beginning on my left ah okay all right not quite the way out I was thinking I was gonna take but um, I'll take it oh look at all that thank you Oh, what do I need to drop? Um, I don't need that. And I don't need that. And actually, I can combine these two things. 
No. Yeah. Okay. Now that we're back on the surface and things feel a little safer, let's look at everything that we picked up. Book of Protection 3, Luck of the Sea 3, four Ender Pearls, apparently a bow, two saddles, 36 rails, an activator rail, a bunch of redstone, a potion of healing, some glowstone dust, two discs that are the same thing, a diamond, a little bit of sugar, some bone, 21 string, and also we found the cave spider spawner. So I'm going to call it a huge win. It was a little crazy. It felt a little hectic, but we did it and I feel pretty great about it. Before we call it, I want to see what we can put on our diamond boots. Oh, feather falling. I want Feather Falling. That's a cheap enchantment. And I want it. So now I just take a little bit less damage anytime I fall from a higher height, which is handy. And then we also have Protection 3, which I think I want to put... I think I'm going to put on these boots and not the helmet for now because I'll have the boots on even in the nether but I won't have the helmet on in the nether. We have an enchanting table going. We have our armor enchanted. We explored the abandoned mine shaft pretty heavily. And most importantly today, we found a cave spider spawner, which means that soon we can get a string farm going, which is super exciting. So that is going to be it for today. I look forward to seeing you next time in the Lapis Kingdom. Have a great day. Bye.